While technology can keep our bodies healthier longer, it's not actually the body we need to worry about. Luckily, keeping our minds healthy has a lot of simple science behind it. Hey youngsters, Trace here, trying to be hip with all the kids for D-News. Is hip with all the kids right? Is that what the kids are saying these days? We're all getting older every single day, but how do I not become one of those stagnant old people? I want to be one of those old men who climbs mountains and stuff. To keep the body young is simple. Exercise. In a laboratory study with rats published by the Society for Neuroscience, it only took 12 consecutive days of exercise, not even two weeks, to preserve and improve the body. Not like CrossFit. That stuff is cray. Simply walking on a treadmill can do it. Use it or lose it, dudes. It's not just the body, though. The brain is really the tough part to exercise. Physical exercise increased brain activity and did keep it healthy. But there's more to, you know, exercise than just walking every day. My grandma used to do the crossword. She didn't do it for any other reason than she simply enjoyed the puzzle. But my mother, she thought it was what kept my grandma sharp. So she picked up Sudoku. Did it help? Maybe. A study released early last year in the Archives of Neurology found keeping your brain active hindered the buildup of a protein called beta amyloid, but that doesn't seem like crossword puzzles and Sudoku aren't really active. Once you're good at them, you're just following simple rules and filling in the blanks. We need more definitive proof. Science, save us! New research from Psychological Science did just that. Scientists from the University of Texas at Dallas asked older adults to do 15 hours of differing activities every week. Some did puzzles or listened to music, others joined social groups to watch movies or play games, and still others completed classes where they learned photography and quilting. After three months, the social photography and quilting groups had actually improved their memory and cognitive processing speed. Learning new skills forces our brain to form connections and build. Without them, our brain kind of withers. Puzzles aren't enough, so get out there and learn some skills. Some mad skills, or just, you know, some regular ones. D-News has already talked about how bilingual people's brains are just plain better at switching gears and doing different tasks and remembering things, but learning a new language will keep your brain from degrading too. It can be tough, but there are lots of ways and they're fun to kind of practice. And remember, you don't have to master the language. You just have to do the learning part. The act of learning is what helps. Another way to keep your brain strong and alive is to sing. <laughs> Believe it or not, Alzheimer's, which is known as dementia or the long goodbye, is definitely the worst of all those brain degradation disorders. But a new study from George Mason University found that if patients sing classic music from hit musicals, it has a similar effect to learning new skills. Over four months, people with serious Alzheimer's joined singing lessons, those who sang improved, and those who listened to them sing, they stagnated. So get out there, sing, that's all you gotta do. It's simple, it's simple stuff. I'm thinking I might try and learn a new language that would keep my brain young and you know, it's kind of a fun skill to have. There are a bunch of free apps out there, maybe Arabic or Chinese or Portuguese, what, what do you think? Sing, learn to dance. It's kind of surprising how easy it is to keep your brain healthy, but what do you think? Tell us down below and subscribe for more D-News videos.